Hi and welcome to our video for 0.2 properties of matter. We're going to take a look at some very simple basic physical properties of matter. So yes, physical properties is where we're going to start. And physical properties are generally going to be constants about a substance, things that aren't really going to change too much about it. And they tend to be things that we can use our senses to observe. Now we might not always be able to use our senses on their own. We might need something like a microscope or the like. But even when we're using a microscope, we're using our senses. The important thing to remember is that physical properties do not require any type of chemical analysis. All right, some examples, basic examples of physical properties are things like melting point, the temperature at which something melts, its odor, or its temperature at the moment. Now, our physical properties are going to be divided into two categories. And the first one is what's called an extensive property. And extensive properties depend on how much material you have. So if I have this much or this much, the extensive properties are going to be different. So these can change. Right? Things like energy. Mass, I mean, it's really easy to see how the mass changes when I cut something in half, as well as the amount of heat that the object has. Now, on the other hand, we have what's called intensive properties, and these don't depend on how much material you have. So, since it doesn't depend on how much material you have, it can be used to identify the type of matter. So, these are a constant about the particular type of matter, so they don't change. All right. So some examples of these are going to be the melting point, the temperature at which something melts. It doesn't change no matter how much you have. Water always melts at zero degrees Celsius. The boiling point, same thing. Water pretty much always boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Things like color, density. Density is very useful in identifying something. Right? Let's say we have a block here and the density is 1.2 grams per cubic centimeter and we cut it in half into two smaller blocks, the density of each half is going to be 1.2 grams per cubic centimeter. It does not change. Also things like hardness and solubility. It doesn't matter how much of the stuff you have. All right, question time. So here, with this one, I'll answer one for you. Then you need to pause it, try to answer the rest, and we'll go over your answers in class tomorrow. Identify the following as being an intensive, extensive, or chemical, that should say property. Okay, so mass of copper. Well, mass is something that's physical. Now, the next part of it is, is it intensive or extensive? Well, if I cut something in half, does the mass change? Yes, it does. That means it's an extensive property. All right, so try to answer the rest. Pause it and try to answer the rest. All right, I hope that wasn't too bad. That brings us to the end of 0.2, and I will see you guys at school.